Hey everybody, this is Brian here. We're going to be talking baseball today. We're going to start a new series. It's actually April 11th right now. And we're going to start a series called Baseball 411. Um, incidentally, there's only 12 games. I wish we could have, could have started this like one day earlier. But then I guess the other things wouldn't line up. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it's still early on. Uh, and I wanted to talk about the first two weeks of the game. Uh, since the last video was mostly talking about the happenings around the game uh, in terms of contract signings and stuff uh, before the season started. Uh, so now that we actually have some stats to go on, some standings, um, some some new signings and trades that have happened during the season, uh, there's all sorts of shit to talk about. So uh, let's get started. Take it all with a grain of salt, though, because obviously I want to acknowledge that these stats uh, and these happenings they all come from small sample sizes so again take it with a grain of salt um one thing that happened that's a big thing for the giants is that they uh traded for a few new players over the course of the first few games i really like the players that they added even though they're not like superstar type guys they're both like outfielders uh center field right field um but nevertheless uh, i haven't seen too much of the first one who's named uh Tyler Austin, I think he came from the Minnesota Twins. Um, <clears throat> he hit 17 home runs, though, last year in like half a season's worth of at-bats, like 250 at-bats, I think, if that. Um, but that's pretty impressive. I mean, that is such a small amount of at-bats. You could look at it one way. It could be a fluke. Uh, but it's also impressive uh, in such a small sample size that he slugged that hard. Um, but I haven't seen too much of him yet, so hopefully he turns out to be the source of power that the Giants were looking for when they traded for him. Uh, the next player I've seen uh, in a couple of games and pinch hit a couple of times, and I've also seen him on other teams before they traded for him, and that's Kevin Pillar. I think that he's going to be a fan favorite. Um, you know, I think he's a good fit for the Giants. I think he has amazing range. He makes highlight reel catches and... Um, that big outfield suits him well, in my opinion. Uh, he has that give-it-your-all type of attitude. It'll make him a fan favorite here fast, I think. Uh, he he kind of fits that mold of players like uh, Hunter Pence or Andres Torres or, or Gregor Blanco, uh, Angel Pagan. It wasn't always about the offensive numbers if they slumped, which they didn't always. Of course, those guys put up lots of great seasons, but... Um, it was more about the person and the effort, you know. Uh, I, I think that Kevin Pillar is one of those people that, even though he signed through 2020, that is going to end up spending the rest of his career here. He's a great fit for the Giants. And I know Blue Jays fans might miss him, but I think that they're going to end up liking him here. He's a good fit. It was a good trade. And he hit a grand slam, so that's cool. Um, anyways, I know it's April, um, but the next th uh, fact is a little bit less fortunate, and then that's that the Giants are like 3-9 and nine last time I checked. That sucks. Uh, I know there's a lot of games left, but that's not a good start. We're going to have to go on some crazy winning streak to even just catch up to 500. Um, and we've played pretty weakly within our division, I, I think. You know, we've seen a lot of the Padres in their UPS brown uniforms, which are pretty butt ugly. Uh, and then the Dodgers, uh, I don't really want to say anything about them, and I don't really need to. Um, hopefully the Rockies suck in their, uh, I think it's Oracle Park now. They changed the name. They, like, licensed it out to a new company. Um, but hopefully home, uh, home field advantage has something to say for the Giants uh, when the Rockies show up at Oracle Park tonight. Um, in other news around the league, uh, around the National League, the Braves extended two of their young uh, players uh, who debuted last year, uh, Ozzy Albies and Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, they extended them both long term. Uh, this is good news for their base of uh, young talent and for their base of uh, fans, you know. Seemingly, they won't end up in another smaller market. I know Atlanta's a big city, but they're not as big. A, they don't have as big a budget as, like, the Yankees, obviously. So they won't end up another, quote-unquote, small market team that's a victim to free agency, you know. It's 
especially with these ludicrous salaries and amounts of years people are expecting. Look at Bryce Harper and Mike Trout's deals. I mean, those. look at uh, John Carlos Stanton's contract. That was also like a 13-year deal. Um, so this isn't just a thing that's starting now, and it's not that these guys aren't talented players, but uh, good Lord, I think that's a little uh, excessive. Uh, a shorter term concern, um, more on the, more back to the Giants, um, is one of our best bullpen arms and one of the most underrated relievers in all of the National League last year. Threw hard, made a lot of really, really solid appearances, had an ERA under three, I think. Uh, Reyes Maranta, you know, he's been struggling lately. I'm not looking so much at his numbers because he's only made a few appearances, plus he's a, a reliever, you know. So those numbers obviously don't have a whole lot behind them. But when you watch him pitch, he's struggling with his control, and he it feels like you're watching one of those guys who has the stuff, but they don't know where it's going. And I really hope he doesn't become one of those guys. I've seen so many of those dudes who throw really hard, but they just have no clue where it's going. And they, they're hitting people in the shoulder and it's going to the backstop and shit. Uh, yeah, I hope he doesn't turn into one of those guys because he looked like he could have uh, been our next closer. Um, the next thing is more of a personal observation than anything, but it seems like the Giants, in every observable way, they can't sync up their offense uh, with the few days that the pitching actually shows up, you know? Like the other day when Rodriguez showed a, a good start, he pitched like seven innings, he only allowed like three runs. What did they get for him? One run scored, and, and that, uh, that game earlier in the season when Bumgarner like struck out nine people, uh, but he, uh, I think he only allowed like two runs to the Padres. Uh, I think the Giants actually got shut out that day. I don't know. It's really, really, uh, it's really, it's kind of weak how they can't support the pitching when it shows up. And then on the couple of days when they actually score a grand slam from Kevin Pillar or a uh, home run from Bumgarner. I think he's leading the team in home runs at this point. Um, I don't know. I've seen five or six show up on the scoreboard on the Giants side a lot more than I'm used to uh, than uh, seeing in in the last couple years past as a Giants fan. You know, I'm used to seeing uh, you know like one or two run games and uh, you know everything being called a pitching renaissance, but it's obviously not a pitching renaissance anymore. Uh, five or six are showing up pretty much every game and I'm uh, you know anyways uh, sorry if I blacked out there for a second um, anyways uh, whenever I see uh, impressive pitching outings like Baumgartner at the Padres early in the year R Rodriguez like I mentioned uh, those instances uh, ha have run support that's totally absent if it was only one uh, if it was only one in support of Rodriguez, how many times is this going to happen? It, it's like the club is going to finish fourth and we're predestined to that. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, uh, you guys as clubs uh, do well, unless you're in L.A., obviously. Uh, anyways, love you guys. I think I'm out now. Ho uh, hopefully... The series goes well in the future. Sorry if this was a little bit, a uh, little bit um, coarse. You know, I just had a seizure a day or two ago. Um, well, nevertheless, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. I'm out.